sir it is a known fact that you created a big business empire in hospitality industry whereas just 10 12 years back you were negative by around 282 crores any other indian would have committed suicide so how do you uh, what do you think about uh, calamity and how do you function during such times how could you handle a negative balance of 282 crores see calamity is an opportunity secondly i cannot take credit alone it is my wife my parents and my team who stood by me when you make your people aware that this is a calamity you get many solutions and from that solution you pick up the best for you when you are in a problem you are in a frame you are in a box others who are outside can see you better and analyze you better that's what happened in my case you are in the business of hospitality and hospitality is nothing but making people comfortable but you need to have people to make your guests comfortable how do you have your team management skills what are your team management skills and how do you motivate your teammates your staff how do i motivate whatever i learn i share with them but we have a benchmark the benchmark of any industry should be repeated clientele and that should be monitored all the time and when we monitor that repeated clientele orchid has 83% for jadavgarh has 94% repeated clientele the highest in the world wow. and that compliment i keep on giving it to them that is why in in hindus we call abhishek it is all the time ah, well done well done well done well done so every time it is well done now you we have systems and procedures we see that they are followed having a computer doesn't make you will get account somebody has to do it and it is done well we i have take i always select ordinary people i work with them they become extraordinary you have a habit of swimming against the tide and that is what you did by launching the first ecotel in asia what was the thought behind it how did you uh, realize that this is an opportunity where the world will talk about you lead to great amount of publicity and you will be historically known as the first originator of the ecotel hotel in asia what went behind your mind rajesh let me tell you i never thought whether the world will recognize me or not but what my mother taught me first thing is whatever you will do you see that you are happy and satisfied thoroughly so i was there's a guru mantra you must write to be an entrepreneur please write this or put it into your heart khareedar chahe kitna bhi bada kyun na ho tum bikau banna mat dimag chahe dil na chahe wo kaam kabhi karna mat daulat daulat to bahut kuch hai sab kuch nahi daulat daulat bahut kuch hai sab kuch nahi sab kuch ke liye bikna mat dimag chahe dil na chahe karna mat kehta hai vithal kamat <laughs> how are you different from other entrepreneurs vis-a-vis -vis the people in your own industry and vis-a-vis -vis entrepreneurship in general you don't have to work hard you have to work smart that is the first thing secondly use your talent along with the work so you can do better and third i never take my work i take it as a pleasure so all three things when you use it is the best the combination is best and it will come out 100 generally a lot of people open up restaurants and then they graduate into opening up a five star hotel you opened multiple five star hotels then you opened four star hotels now you are also opening multiple restaurants all across the country so what's the idea behind it is it carpet bombing no my friend the thing is whenever you start something see where is the gap today the gap is most of the vegetarian restaurants are converted into ladies bars are converted into something else secondly you do not get clean hygienic wholesome and value for money food that gap is vacant vital kamat can be a 5000 restaurant 5000 restaurant chain i can divide it into three one fastest vital kamat will be khao jao 
खाओ जाओ द अदर वन विल बी फैमिली रेस्टोरेंट एंड वन कैन बी फाइन डाइनिंग माई माई आइडिया इज एट एवरी एटी किलोमीटर टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर वेर द डिस्टेंस शुड बी वन आवर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू वन आवर थर्टी मिनट्स ड्राइविंग डिस्टेंस सो देर इफ यू ओपन विठल का मत सच्चा है अच्छा है आई विल गेट फाइव थाउजेंड कार्स आई नीड ओनली ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इट फॉर बिजनेस वी सी अ फुटफॉल फर्स्ट सेवन डेज प्रायर टू दैट अ पर्सन गोज ही राइड्स डाउन देन ही गिवज अ रिपोर्ट एंड वन मोर सीक्रेट विच यू प्लीज डोंट टेल आउटसाइड आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्स एवरी ईयर वी क्लोज वन रेस्टोरेंट विच इज एट द बॉटम इट्स लाइक अ फुटबॉल लीग इफ यू आर एट द बॉटम यू आर आउट so we do that and that is how remaining 55 runs the best uh, vital ji how do you do ideation like for example fort jadavgad fort jadavgad friends is a beautiful property i went there you need a lot of courage first of all to reach there and then be there it's a wonderful property but reaching there itself is a challenge so how did you take the risk or how did you take the initiative to create a business model in the middle of nowhere and that to at such a great distance firstly i feel idea is my currency so i don't have to use currency secondly please understand you will have three varieties of customer one is a regular the other one will come to fill up his stomach and third will be unique this property is for unique ise banaya gaya hai tere liye sirf so you these ideas come from people we do it I first started in London, Italy, 40 years back, and uh, the British asked me, "What is this?" I said, "This is rice dumpling." He looked at chutney. He said, "What is this?" I said, "This is coconut sauce." Still, it is sold as coconut sauce. If you call it chutney, the value goes down. When you say coconut sauce, everybody understands. So it's very important that this idea come from you and can convince or enter the heart of your guest, and that's how you get a repeated guest. fantastic you are in a people driven business hospitality is great infrastructure with great people who can keep that infrastructure full so what are your systems of recruiting training retaining and retraining your people what are your systems okay first appoint right person for a right job that is most important because you have a vacancy if you appoint someone it's going to fall flat secondly please look into your attrition rate we had once upon a time 3% today more new hotels are opening aspiration is more so it has gone to 7% now retaining people is more important than hiring people and then we have a system of trainer trains the trainer so that gives them additional responsibility more weightage and most important confidence lastly don't never never employ a superhuman because he's going to leave you within a minute he's superman he's waiting he's just holding it he wants a platform and then he'll leave so just see that you have person you rather you employ someone who will have loyalty that is most important a person with his ability but no loyalty is of no use to you because he's going to leave you otherwise also and when the person leaves it's like a big ship which goes down along with him he may take five other people also so see that you select the right person interview him well make him comfortable during interview and the most important share things take his knowledge tell him where he is and show him a growth chart where he will be in five years and see that you whatever you promise you deliver you run a very large business how do you what are your uh, fund management skills sir i am very poor at fund management are so many hotels sir i'll tell you the reason behind it i did my engineering i am technical man in india when you do business you have to think of three four things firstly the regional problems so this is very important that first you see the environment second you see the law of the land like uh, in india we use khaskas for gravy but you can't use khaskas in singapore it's banned so you have to make a menu different way like in um, nepal beef is banned 
pork is banned in um, Saudi Arabia, other places. So you, when you make your menu, make your things, do a SWOT analysis first. And see again, where is an opportunity? Then find the right person, discuss with them, discuss with the locals, see their taste, and see what a new generation also wants. So, uh, Kamath is a standard all over, and uh, it is like a bata shoe. You know your size, you know your price, and you're buying it, you know your color. Same way, when you start, you come out of your office, or you're coming out of your house, you say, okay, I'll have a idli at Kamath, coffee, and then I'll move. That's it. So, what we see there, we give quality. Speed is second thing. Third and most important, hygiene. And fourth is value for money. When you use all these four, your brand will be at the top. There is no MNC can come and beat you because you can't eat everyday bread. You can eat idli every time. Without profit, there's no business in this world. You make profit, then share it with your staff, with your shareholders, and most important, give part of it to the society back, your corporate social responsibility, and then you put it, put it in your pocket. Uh, Dr. Vithal, what is the homework that you do when you launch a new project? Because launching a project for you is 50 crores and above, probably. I'm talking about a four-star and a five-star hotel. Five-star hotel would go beyond 200 crores. Today, what is the homework that you do? See, let me tell you, the costliest place in the world to make a hotel is Bombay. The land cost is the highest, almost. If you make the same hotel in New York or anywhere, it will be cheaper. There are three reasons to it. One, the floor space index, which is for Bombay, is two. In Hong Kong, it is 14. In some other places, it's 24. And in Dubai, there is no FSI. You sky is the limit. Secondly, the permissions take a lot of time. In uh, Bombay, there are 126 permissions for a one five-star hotel. So you know how, how this is gray now, you know. <laughs> but you do study everything. You have a good architect and a good company then you can do it. But first you do an analysis. See where is the gap? Does the city has that gap? And then what is a product in need? What you need is a practical hotel which can give you average $100, $150 rate and value for money. So if there is an opportunity like this, we do it. Earlier we used to build independent hotel Today we use mixed hotel, mixed use. So you can have office with hotel, you can have building with a hotel, you can have hospital with the hotel, so the cost comes down and then it becomes actually profitable venture. What are your thoughts about collaborative working? Is that the new way forward? Yes, synergy is energy. I have one advice for friends, local friends. Be a number one local, the world will follow you from anywhere. Today, this is a time of internet. If you are the best mousetrap, if you make the best mousetrap, the world from anywhere will follow you, but you have to be number one. When you realize that it's impossible, you should, it is always better, successful retreat. Because you may fail once, you may fail twice, but if you don't close the business at the right time, you will not be there otherwise. <music>